Welcome to another screencast of SQL Tidbits, where we give you just a tidbit to keep you coming back. In today's screencast, we'll be talking about SQL Server Profiler and using that to improve your T-SQL skills. As you may know, many of the common administration tasks within SQL Server Management Studio have a script out option. For example, if I was going to create a new link server, I could simply fill in the information in the form and then use the script out option either to the query window, clipboard, or several other options. This is very handy for making scripts that are you can save and modify and then reuse and uh, make sure all your servers are set up in a consistent manner. Unfortunately, not all of the administration screens have the script out option. For example, the database mail is one of such of those examples. If you go into here and use the setup wizard, uh, there's never an option to script it out. So what we're going to do is, while we're running this through this wizard, we're going to go ahead and run SQL Server Profiler in the background to capture the commands that SQL is running behind the scenes, and then we'll be able to create our script that way. To start SQL Server Profiler, you simply need to go in Management Studio up to the Tools, uh, SQL Server Profiler, then connect to your instance and click Run. I should mention that I'll be running this against a test system and so I don't really have any concerns about performance, but before you would ever run this against a production system, you should definitely uh, read up about it and understand how to use the appropriate filters and the appropriate time uh, to run SQL Server Profiler. So now I've got SQL Server Profiler running and uh, it's just simply showing my existing connections and I'm going to switch back to the database mail setup wizard and go ahead and begin setting this up. When I click Next, it prompts me that the database mail feature is not available. Do I want it enable? So I'm going to click Yes. Uh, in this case, I got an error because uh, in this particular system, ad hoc system uh, updates are not supported. But we can still look in the SQL Server Profiler what command it was trying to run and capture that. It was trying to run SP Configure Database Mail and set that to 1 from 0. And then it ran a reconfigure. So I can copy and paste this into a query window. And you notice I'm starting to build my script already. Uh, and I always want to put the comments in here as to what I'm doing with that particular action. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and run reconfigure with override. And when I do that, it's going to run successfully this time. And when I go back into the database mail, and it will allow me to get to the next step because I've got that set up. Once we've enabled database mail, the actual next step is to create the database mail account. And so as I do that, I'm going to go to manage database mail accounts and profiles. And I'm going to hit create new account. So now that I've got everything filled out on this particular screen, I'm going to go ahead and click Next. Uh, but before I do that, a good at, uh, practice is to go back and clear the SQL Server Profiler. Because I ha you get a lot of commands uh, and you'll see that just things continue to run and a lot of uh, noise that I'll call it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the Erase button to clear it so it'll just be easier to find this when I run it. So I click Next and then Finish and I see that it was successful. So as I go back to Profiler, uh, I noticed something unusual here. Uh, it ran the command sysmail add account sp, but it didn't actually give me the exact SQL it was trying to run. Uh, so let's investigate that. Sysmail add account. Uh, we can find that in MSDB. So if I scroll up here and I look under MSDB, store procedures, system store procedures, and I already have it filter filtered so we can see that. If we uh, script out and modify this to a new query window, you'll notice what the problem is if you know anything about Profiler at all, and that is the fact that it has app password in one of the parameters. Anytime a SQL command has the word password in it, uh, SQL Server Profiler automatically masks that. So in this case, what I had to do was, knowing that it had run this command, just go ahead and uh, go down here and, and see what it was really trying to run and, and understand that I could simply do a replacement for the email address, display name, reply to address, and I was able to produce the script that looks like this. Uh, the final step is to add the profile. I did it the same way, uh, simply adding a profile and adding, uh, getting the script here. If you'd like to see this entire script, I'm going to link up to another post that I have that shows you how to write the, uh, the script. The point today, though, was to show you how to use Profiler to make your T-SQL skills better, making uh, ferreting out those scripts that uh, are often hard to see in certain administration screens. Hope you've enjoyed this screencast. This is SQL Tidbits, where we give you just a tidbit to keep you coming back for more.